Welcome to the Shells Podcast, where we talk about stocks, real estate, and financial independence. The goal of this podcast is to get you started on learning about finance and have you start your personal journey to financial independence. Real quick, if you haven't already, click that like button. Also, click the subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to click the notification bell so that way you can be notified of future videos. Now, let us get to the podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about financial independence in a special way with retirement plans. What is a retirement plan? Well, to put it simply, it is a group of either stocks, ETFs, or whatever you decide to put into it that will have tax benefits. Okay, that's great. But what types of plans are there? Well, there's two, really. There's the Roth IRA and the 401k. The 401k gets taxed when you take the money out, but is taken out of your income. So if you put in, if you make $50,000 and you put in uh, $5,000, $5,000 gets deducted from the $50,000 and you only get taxed as if you made $45,000 that year. And on the other hand, there's a Roth IRA, which is taxed when you put it in, but is not taxed when you take it out. For example, if you make $50,000 a year and you put in $5,000 into a Roth IRA, it is taxed with your income. So the money you put in is already taxed. When you take it out, however, the capital gains are not taxed. So if you made your $5,000 into $10,000, you make a $5,000 profit. And on the 401k, if you put in $5,000... And you take out the five thousand with a five thousand dollar profit, so you now have a total of ten thousand dollars. It would get taxed at whichever tax bracket you are in when you take it out. So if you uh, get taxed twenty percent on capital gains, so you're in a high tax bracket, you would only make eight thousand dollars, twenty percent, which is two thousand dollars. So your five thousand dollar profit got turned into a $3,000 profit. Taxes suck. Okay, Chris, that's great, but why should I be in a retirement plan? Well, the reason you should be in a retirement plan is it's a way for you to get away from some taxes. Also, it's a way to achieve financial independence later in life. It should not be one of your main focuses. It should be something on the sidelines that you use as a hedge, basically. At least, that's my personal opinion. I am not a financial advisor. This is just personal opinion. But I would recommend that a retirement plan should not be what you use to reach retirement. It should be a hedge. If anything fails, you know you have a backup. It allows you to take more riskier deals and opportunities that come forth. It also gives you the chance and discipline to learn more about how to save your money and use it to invest. The problem with a retirement plan is you can't get access to any of the gains until you hit the retirement age for the account. But if you have a, for example, a individual invest, uh, investment account, you can take access to them right away whenever you feel like it. I don't recommend you buy and then sell on the same day or in the same week or even the month. What you should do is hold on to them for at least a year so you can get long-term capital gains and be taxed that way and not as if it was just regular capital gain tax. But back to retirement. Okay. So you know what it is. You know why you should do it. But you don't know how to do it. How do you set up 
a retirement plan? Well, there's a app that I use to invest with. It's called M1 Finance. It's a great app. I've had very little stress with it. Actually, when you call them and you have any issues, you get sent to a person, which is really, really nice. You actually get to talk to a human being on the phone. What you do is you go on there, you sign in, and then you click Add an Account. On the Add an Account, you receive Retirement. Click that. You will have two choices. One will say Roth IRA, and no another one will say a traditional IRA. There will be, uh, I think it's two more, no, just one more choice that says Transfer. Uh, if you already have your retirement account, you can transfer it to M1 Finance. But 